All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we are back. Let's uh, wander around a little bit, see what we can get up to. The merchant is there. To my help, and death to the others. There we go. There we go. Boots. Right, what was the merchant he was talking about? Where? Negotiate with the vendor. Oh, no, we should probably tell them about our success or failure or, you know, our decision making. No, we'll, we'll come this way in a minute. We'll come back around. The maps can be a little confusing. I think it's this way. Let's stop by here. Welcome. It's such Saw a some pleasure stuff. to see you again. Have you seen anything to your liking? What might I help you with? Uh, so, right here is that better than our current one? Yeah, kinda. And it had so that. Might want to equip those gloves. Uh, wait a minute. Oh my god, no. <laughs> Alright, almost there, but we can buy it. Novice's ring. Let's first, uh, god. There we go. Give me a cape for 50. And go novice ring for 91. And then we can equip that when the time comes. Alright, is there anything else I can sell? Oh. Actually, can I I can't equip this from here? So let's uh Thank you for your visit. Shit. 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 Always do that. Alright, so let's, uh, let's... Can I unequip it? I am equip... I cannot yet. Okay. I have to put something in its place. And I can't use this either. Okay. So let's sell that. Welcome! It's such a yeah, pleasure. Yeah, yeah, have yeah, you yeah, seen yeah. Sell. Let's sell the rapier. Thank you for your visit. You're yes, welcome. Sir. Your Excellency, Lady de Sade. All right, uh, speak about the Charlotte. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say that I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the Coin Guard Tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> we'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. Thank you. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye. 
Lady Desade. Now we turn to other matters. Oh, that's right. It's an interior sort of thing. Negotiate with the vendor. There's a bunch of stuff over here we haven't yet seen. Let's go speak to that vendor. Oh, hello, loot. Just take a little shortcut. Should be around here, right? Sorta. Close. There you go. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your... Master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. So you're price gouging. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. <laughs> Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Yeah, I get it. Uh, charm. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, niece of the Prince d'Orsay, and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable, especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay, unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I... Oh. As you request, my lady, I shall go immediately and ask that these crates be delivered to the attendant. Now that's a wise decision. Thank you. I was beginning to think this would never end. You're certainly honoring your new title. Bravo! All right. The quartermaster must be expecting us. Good. Yeah, and the Nuremberg defense is not a good one. Don't you worry now. You'll get your merchandise. All right. So, what do we need to do now? Go to Corn Coin Guard Barracks and speak to the uh, quartermaster. Just around the corner here, yes. Perhaps, maybe. There's nobody in there. What is that even there for? It's the tavern. There's a way to get through, I remember. What's this? Just, just random gold. Gotta love that. Am I, is it through this way? That you can just shimmy your way underground through? 
I remember it being possible. We'll see. Was that random gold? I wish you a good day, Your Excellency. It's always in quantities of seven, too. That's kind of weird. Which way are we going? You'll find all you need in our selection. Welcome. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Do you have, have you a reasonable hat, like sir? It? A reasonable hat. No. Thank you you fail me yet team, again. Sir. I want a tricorn. Hello, Quartermaster. Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier 3D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. <laughs> ah, but you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, yeah. If he finds an alternative solution that is less, uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Right. I mean, well, it's only as a member of the royal family, it's only really illegal if I say it's illegal. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, uh, figure that out. Alright, so it all brings us down here. That should be a good marker. Up. Oh, what is this? Loot? Always gotta go towards the shiny stuff. And our objective is down here. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. Don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? Uh, do you know where he last was? What's what your role? What will be your official title on Tier 3D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor. Nothing more. But His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, but also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your so help research. will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. All right, well, thanks for your time. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. Okay. Our true objective. Oh, that, that's a ramp. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince we'd be off before the tide. You, man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. There are some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco! And you are? 
I'm de Sade, the prince's niece. If all is in order, we will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Sure. Uh, what about him, though? When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Okay, uh, he got any acquaintances? Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so, but it's difficult to be sure. Uh, when did you last see him? Miss Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Okay. Know anything about Constantine? You haven't heard anything about my cousin, by chance, have you? To be honest, we were hoping to find him here. Did you say he was intending on celebrating his departure? My men spoke of a rather animated party that went down at the Coin Tavern. But I haven't heard anything else. That isn't the safest place in the city. I hope nothing has happened to him. Let's go and find him. Thank you, Captain. Happy to be of some help. Lovely. Weren't we just there? And heretics and merchandise. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority. And the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Hellfire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. <sighs> Captain. I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4 D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are going to have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is going to have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to dock to the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbor master's office. It's funny that we just said that in front of him. Have you seen anyone wandering about? Suspicious looking. Maybe clandestine passengers. Take a look around. There are far too many comings and goings to spot possible stowaways. As long as they don't try and get on my ship, I pay no attention to them. That said, we did catch ourselves a smuggler just a while ago. A smuggler? Maybe he could be of some use. Where could I find him? In the port jails, not far from the warehouses. Why I ask you? Why the sudden interest in smugglers and the odd stowaway? A couple of heretics are planning on leaving Serene. The ambassador of Teleme has entrusted me with the job of capturing them. Happy to see that you trust me enough to seek my counsel in the affair. Just so happens that I heard someone talking about the couple. The Cardinal's men are far from discreet. They are making quite some ruckus. Asking to search our warehouses. 
We, of course, refused entry. Only the Nords have access. I'm sorry, Your Excellency, but I'm certain your potential stowaways aren't far. But we won't allow you to make a search to grab them. Not officially, at least. What do you mean? That discretion and malice are often more useful than titles and words. Understood. Well, Be I'll get soon, going. Captain. We need to have a word with that people smuggler the sailor mentioned. He's a captain, Kurt, like yourself. And in order to interrogate the smuggler, we'll need to find a way into his jail. Okay, well, I think I saw a not outfit. So I, ca I can't climb back over that. That's lovely. Uh, <laughs> and one of the vendors. So let's find a merchant. Or the merchant we've been going to for the past God knows how long. Come on. Center in on that. Thank you. Let's first grab this. Just around the corner, right? Nope. Matt, Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm afraid that I won't be able to come. You there, sir. You'll find all. Shush, shush. Welcome. No, 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 no. It's okay. Uh, let's buy. Uh. There we go. Visit. See you soon. And it just automatically equips it as it should. So we're gonna go uh, deal with this. Greetings, Your Excellency. Excuse me. Oh my God. And we'll just. Sort of sneakily, sneaky sneak our way inside. Zones controlled by factions, and yep, this is a not outfit that I'm wearing. Have any idea how to get in there without being noticed. Let's take a look around the building. We might find a less conspicuous entrance. Where is the manifest to be found? I've already been to the port authorities. They keep the official documents upstairs. And see, they don't care, even with Kurt just ra walking around like that. Damn it. Is it upstairs? Yeah. Is this a door that I can go through? Yes, it is. Pick up key. Here is the ship's manifest. We only need to add our merchandise to the list. Let's do that. Easy as it should be. Yeah, this this only did the jails, right? Yeah. Ooh, what's in here? Sailor coat. Got some stuff to sell at least. Is this, is this locked? Yes, it is. All right, back the way we uh, came in. All right, looks like we got to keep the outfit on for a little bit. Sneak our way through here. If you wore a North uniform and you were able to keep your mark hidden from them, they might let us in, unless we just offered them a drink. These sailors rarely refuse what. Hello? What can I do for you? We're your replacements. You're dismissed. Finally! We were starting to grow moss. Courage, me hearties. The path is clear. We should notify the men. They need all the time they can get. All right. Is this just a straight up hole in the wall? It is. Lovely. Can we go inside here? We 
can and we've got free reign to just kind of loot around. I saw something over here glowing. Where'd it go? Ah! Yeah, crafting and whatnot is a... It's not a giant part of this game, but it, it certainly helps. Of course, it's lockpicking. It's always lockpicking. Gotta love lockpicking. Taylor's coat. I don't know exactly what it wants me to clear off. Oh, okay. Right. Out we go, the same way we came in. We're gonna notify the men. And, oh, we came out the back, didn't we? I think. way the warehouse to get the not prisoner I've seen a few escapes in my time but I never thought are you the smuggler you snuck yourself in here just to ask me that question if this is some sort of trick to get me to admit to some crime you are truly twisted you can see for yourself that I'm no naught. Come now. Are you the one I'm looking for? I'm already locked up. What more do I risk? Yes, I am a smuggler. But I'm not the only one in this city. I'm searching for a couple fleeing to Leme. They are trying to leave the city discreetly. Have they contacted you? You certainly can't imagine I'm going to answer you without getting something in exchange. I don't really think of my clients as kin but I'd never betray any of them for free. <laughs> a real saint you are. How about your freedom in exchange for your loyalty? Tell me where I can find them and I'll open this cage. That works for me. Your two telemites are hidden in a warehouse behind this very prison. They must be waiting for me, but you might want to be quick about it. If the Norts get their hands on them, they'll find themselves in this same cage. Thank you. Anytime. And these doors? You're gonna open them, right? Sure, why not? Wait, speak. Oh, I don't have the... Oh. Thank you, my lord. And don't worry about me. I'll slip outside without being seen. Sure. I don't doubt it. Right. Is that where the heretics are? Yes. Through here. They must be upstairs, maybe. Oh, yep, it tells me as such. Who? Who is there? May the Illuminated save us. Did the smuggler send you? The man to which you are referring was arrested and thrown into prison. But reveal to me your hiding place. Oh, the traitor! Have you come to deliver us to the Inquisition, then? Please, please, have pity on our souls. We have committed no crime. We are not heretics. We are nothing more than historians. In that case, why is the ambassador of Teleme so concerned about your teachings? Why is the Inquisition looking for you, and why are you hiding? Our only error was wanting to publish our work. It's true. We presented our research, but it didn't please the censor. And here you have the result. We fled all the way to Serene, thinking we would be safe. But the Inquisition wants to silence us so badly that they followed us here. I see. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. What's your research about? Tell me more about your research. What about it is so horrifying that it will provoke such a fuss? Our work concerns the teachings of St. Lucius. The disciple of St. Matthias. The one who returned to Teleme after traveling with his master. The very same. His writing was carefully preserved, but never seriously studied. With the discovery of Tear D, we thought it crucial to take a look at the original text. We wanted to verify if this island could have been the faraway place that he spoke of. The Eden of St. Matthias. And? What did you find? 
Tia Fridi is without any doubt the land that our Saint Matthias and his disciples went to. But the text that we discovered was radically different from what we expected to find. Okay. In the original text, Saint Lucius doesn't speak of an Eden, of the paradise of the illuminated. He speaks of a voice that came from the depths of the earth, which convinced Saint Matthias to stay there. It was written in black and white, and there is no doubt about it. The original was written in Lucius's own hand. I understand now what that text has cost you. This voice from the depths sounds more the power of a demon than a saint. The sacred texts are always difficult to interpret, but what is written is written. Okay, so do you have an escape plan? Who were you hoping would give you asylum? We were hoping to reach Al Saad. The Inquisition won't chase us into the den of their enemies. Our research won't interest the Bridge Alliance, or at least I doubt it. But at least we'll be safe. By entering Al Saad as clandestines, you risk being taken for spies. That would be better than being burned at the stake. I mean, but they'll probably still torture you. Yeah, I guess. Did you try speaking with the censors? You could forget what you have discovered, perhaps? Oh, we have signed already an abjugation stating that we misunderstood the sacred texts of St. Lucius. And they're we still We were even you. ready to say that we had never seen the true text or anything else that would have pleased them. It served no purpose. It's our lives they are after. I see. Well, you have no other choice but to run and seek refuge in enemy territories. I beg of you, please do not deliver us to them. Let us continue on this path. Understood. Uh, propose to speak with the Bridge Alliance Ambassador. I could have a word with the good Dr. Zaheen, the Ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. If he can be persuaded to offer you asylum, you would be saved. Your goodness honors you. May the Illuminated forever light your path. If I manage to convince the Ambassador, you'll need to refrain from that sort of blessing. Stay here. I'll be back. Yeah, they're a secular society, uh, but let's let's see what we can do about that. The only heresy that I don't, that I actually believe in is the heresy of Hallmark. Hallmark is heresy. You <laughs> fight me on it if you want, but it's heresy. All right. Importers are just around the corner. Captain, me lady, we were given orders to wait here with the merchandise. The way is clear. It's time to get going. Do your best to be quick and quiet about it. You won't have much time to move at all. Don't you be worrying now. We're off. Good. The warehouse is at the end to the right there. You can't miss it. Move out. Quick steps. All right, now we can switch back to our original clothes. Still wish I had a damn hat. All right, so what else do we need? Where, uh, what is this? Investigate the not disappearance not of the novice. What is this? Oh, same thing. All right, let's go inform the Bridge Alliance ambassador. I believe I've seen you at the palace. Are you one of the prince's relatives? So we're getting... Is it around the corner or across the bridge? Across the bridge. Yep, there's the Teleme Ambassador's house or embassy. It's not really big enough to be an embassy. It's just like the dude's house. Both of them. Knock, knock. I have a favor to ask. Your Excellency. Lady de Sade. I would like to talk to you about a rather delicate matter. I am listening. 
A couple of historians have made a recent discovery concerning Mateus, the founder of the mythical Teleme, and it seems that this is not to the liking of the Illuminated, or at least his more fervent subjects. These sinister hypocrites are going to want to burn them at the stake. Without a doubt. And that's why these poor people are begging you to offer them asylum. We are willing. Where are they to be found at this time? At the port of Serene. They were hoping to stow away discreetly on a vessel to Al Saad. Very well. I shall send an escort immediately to take them somewhere safe. Thank you. All right. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lady de Sade. We owe you our lives. We are eternally grateful. It was nothing. I hope you won't have too much difficulty adapting to your new country. If you would allow me, I would like to give you this. It's not much, but it is all that we possess. Hmm. Farewell. You have a kind heart, Greenblood. It'll be the end of you, but that doesn't bother me. <laughs> I wouldn't have wanted those poor buggers to end up on a burning pyre. Yeah, no one it would It would seem that I'm not the only one with a tender heart. Alright, so what is next? Oh. Oh, just inform the Tulane Ambassador. Like, yo, bro, um... Uh, they got away? <laughs> They're gone? Sorry! Greeting, sir. Good day, Excellency. Lady de Sade. To what do I owe the pleasure? It pains me to inform you that the heretics you seek have fled. Curse them! How could that possibly have happened? Alas, these renegades have found protection with the ambassador of the Bridge Alliance. I would not have been able to capture them without risking a diplomatic incident that my uncle would have condemned. The bridge. I thought as much. Those heretics have turned to them. But I had hoped that you might intervene quickly enough to stop them. It is truly regrettable. Very regrettable, yes. We have nothing else to do but pray that the Luminous might shield us from their lies. Mm hmm Pray to the sun god. I must be going. Farewell, Excellency. May the light guide you, Dasade. Level three. Okay, so. There we go, we've got that. Anything else? Nope, that comes at level four and level five for talents. So what is our next objective? That's looking for Constantine. That's going to progress the story. So let's actually finish off the last side quest before we do that. Or at least start it. Oh, Excuse me. Hello, you Move, Excellency. woman! It is an honor. Gotta go down first. Down to the rest of the port. Um, across? Is it across? Knock, knock. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right, yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you know about him? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. So he just wasn't himself last night. Okay, so something was definitely bothering him. 
habitual comings and goings. What does Jonas do in his free time, when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his pint like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. Okay. So no possibility of drunken stumbling. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro won't stop telling anyone who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. Mm. The itch for a drink gets us all, but to him more than others. And when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you'd guess, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Okay, that's about what Captain Vasco. What do you think Vasco? about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator, and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. Oh. If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. All right. I need to be going. Farewell. Oh, what's this? Smuggler's journal. From the smuggler we freed? Anything else shiny in here? Nope. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars I know him. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds, he didn't go missing, he was taken. All right, tell me about it. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puff. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No. Not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Okay. Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know said. what was on his mind? No. No idea. Is he not that big of a talker? Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. B but outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. Kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But okay. now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. Okay, so... Thank you, Lauro. I need to be going. Strange story, this is. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Yep. To the tavern we go. Looks like it's going to be a nexus for a couple of investigations, including Constantine. So, I thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, when we return, we're going to investigate that.
see if we can find Constantine, get out of Serene, and uh, go to Tier for D. So I uh, thank you so much. If you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all tomorrow. Thank mm -hmm. you.